Happy 45 back once again, and welcome back to the place to get your early fantasy picks. I want to apologize today. I didn't get to make any early picks. I stayed up till 5 a.m. last night waiting for prize picks to put the props down for their picks, and they never did. So I, I went to sleep. You're getting the picks late today, but I hope you still enjoy them. I'm going to go through them, show you what bets I'm making the first two bets. You might get another video later. Probably not today, but be looking out for one tonight really, really early if they drop the problems tonight late, and maybe two videos tomorrow. <clears throat> but without any further ado, let's get into this. I'm going to show you the first two plays I'm making. I'm going to make this play, and I'm going to go through and pick one more play with y'all. Um, these are the plays I'm liking and why. Dennis Smith Jr., six assists. Let's go look at this. We need to look at all of them. So Dennis Smith Jr., six assists. We're going under. He's had ten, uh, t one 10 assist game since coming into the starting lineup for Miami. He's pushed it once. I don't think he's going to have the best game against Miami. They are a really good defense. If anything, he'll be looking to score against them, not really get a lot of assists because Miami's not someone who, to just leave someone open for a pass. Next up, we're going with Luka Doncic assists. <laughs> And we're going to take the under on this one as well because Lucas hit this once in the last five games. And honestly, I don't see him needing to pass against Washington. Um, next up, we are going to go down here and take... Ooh, I like that one. Well, I'm going to put that one on my next one. Next up, we're going to go take... Tyrese Maxey points. Very good play in my opinion. Very good play indeed. Um... And then after that, the last thing we're going to be taking is C.J. McCollum's rebounds. If if you all know and you all been watching the channel, you know we took this yesterday. Also, I want to say we did break even exactly yesterday on the bets I showed y'all. But if you would have rearranged them certain ways, y'all could have made a lot of money off my picks. I did very well yesterday, made my money back, didn't hit any 5 for 5, so I didn't win big. Um, anyways, let's go on to set this. Luca less assists, Maxi more points, CJ McCollum more rebounds. He's hit this uh, still. He missed it last game, but he's hit it five games previous prior to that. Um, we're going to go more on Adebayo points because I, I like Adebayo playing Charlotte. I mean, it's Mason Plumley. Come on. And we're going to go less on Dennis Jr.'s assists. I just don't think he's going to get those assists in this game. Um, we're going to go here with... We're going to go here with eight bucks. I really like these picks I'm making today because there's some uh, really unconventional plays that I think a lot of people wouldn't think about that I like today, and I want to get those out there for y'all. So the next thing we're going to do, Bradley Bill's out. Dinwiddie's their main passer anyways. We're putting Dinwiddie assists. <coughs> <coughs> if Maxie doesn't get his points, if his shot's not falling, he very well could hit this assist. He could hit it both against the letter is uh, saying the game stays close. He could hit both of them. So... We're going to go ahead and select that. And now we're going to look for three more to add with this, and then I'm going to bid y'all do. I want y'all to go ahead and put a like on this video uh, if you want that video tonight. As soon as props get dropped, I'm sorry, I tried to get it to you today as soon as props get dropped. I'm making this video a little bit quick, no research going into it because I literally just woke up. I have to make this video, then go to class. So I'm just going through here. Uh, made that first prop off camera talked about it with y'all and now I'm making the second one on camera with y'all so I'm going to go here to first half bets that's such a high first half fantasy score to be projected but like I feel like it could be a blowout today let's go look at points rebounds and assists though he's hit this he's hit this one for the last four uh, three of the last sit this one three of the last two that's tough that's a very tough bet to make so we're gonna go scroll on down like i said i feel i got a feeling this could be a blowout so what i'm going to do i would take dinwiddie's but i got his assist already and i actually probably do like that a little bit better i feel like this one could be a blowout too the uh the Charlotte game. What do y'all think about the games today? Go ahead down there in the comment section below and tell me what y'all think about the games today. I think we got a decent slate of games. A uh, pretty good slate, in my opinion. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We're going to go over here to points. Um, Jimmy Butler, 
full game points because, like I said, this could be a blowout. Also, Jimmy doesn't always look to score. I'm going to take Jimmy's under on points. I'm going to take Maxie's over on assists, and I'm going to take Dinwiddie's overs on assists, and now we're going to look for a few more props here. I haven't even taken a look at any of the three-pointers made props. Uh, I kind of like that one with Bill out. I mean, with Bill out, someone's going to be getting extra shots. That's what they don't realize, and Kuz is a good shooter. We're going to go over here and do something just so y'all can see my thought process. CJ did not hit a three last game. He didn't even hardly score last game. B.I. is the best shooter out of this list, and he's got that. That's that's crazy. B.I. is the best shooter other than Dame on this list. I mean, he, his should be 2.5 over Kelly's. But we're going to go over here and show y'all a little strategy. I might take Kuzma instead of B.I. I might take both even, but we're going to show y'all a little strategy here I like to implement. We're going to go over here and look up Brandon Ingram three point attempts per game he's only shooting about four a game but he has a lot of good teammates around him uh, now we're going to look up Kyle Kuzma three point attempts per game 5.5 NBA career I want this year Kyle Kuzma three pointers attempt this year. He's shooting 5.7 a game. That's an easy lock on Kuzma. Bradley Bill is out. I would almost lock Porzingis in on this too with Bradley Bill out. I mean, I'm betting heavy on the Wizards on this slip, but I mean, that can be good and bad at the same time. I'm going to go over to first halves. I don't know, man. I might just do a fourth play this time. I'm not too sure here. Not too sure here. Apologize for, yeah, like I said, not having, you know, too much planned out in this one other than that first one. I, I thought it'd be cool to just look through the props, let y'all know what I'm thinking about as I look at them. And I, I'll even shout out some I like um, that I'm not going to take. Someone sold me Mason Plumley under on the rebounds. I'm just, I'm scared to take that. I mean, yeah, he is playing good defense, but do we double down on CJ? Do we double down on CJ? That's the real question. Or we double down on, like, you can't double down on Jimmy. So, well, guys, the time is getting too long for what this video is with these amount of picks. I'm going to go ahead and place this bet. I will be betting more today. If you want a little quick update video on those bets, go ahead and comment down below and say yes, update us. But uh, with me having to go to work after class, there's no way I'll be able to possibly uh, post a probably another full-length video. But if you want those picks that I make later, whenever they drop the uh, later game props, just go ahead and comment down below, and I'll uh, tell you in the comment section, or I'll post a quick little quick video. I'm only going to put a little five buck on this. Well, five, that, that only made me 25. No, we want to make 30, bitch. There we go. So, uh, I like this bet a lot. Uh, I don't have time to add a fifth leg to it. I like Kuzma to hit 1.53s. I thought about adding just, uh, honestly, Porzingis' threes to it as well because, I mean, they could easily both hit two threes. I mean, let's look at it. Porzingis has not in a while, so we're not going to do that. Even though Bill is out, I think that uh, Kuzma will get a boost from that. I think this is a pretty good prop. Uh, all these I've said are pretty good. Remember, we took Maxi's points on a different prop. That's why we have his assists here and not his points. I like both of them. You can do either one you like. Did I already place this? I swear I thought I did, but let's place it. Thank y'all for watching today. Um, hope y'all enjoyed, and have a great one.